from what I understand, from when I read the Bible. That's what you said. Yeah. From what you understand. So I'm saying, when I say from what I understand, I'm reading it directly from the text. It said that he came up only the age of, of no man. Let's see what it says. Philip signed his name. Okay. And it says unto him. What did they say? We have. What was the common and talk of the town at that time? We have found him. We found who? Of whom Moses in the law. In the what? In the law. In the time of Moses, it spoke about Jesus Christ. Read. And the prophets uh -huh. did write. Uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth. Who? The son. Of Joseph. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I thought he was the son of an angel. I thought he was incorruptible seed, bro. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Hey. Brother, you went to college. Thank you don't God. get it. What's wrong with you, brother? Be in the game. question is, so what's that mean for everybody else? What is the, the meaning that for God to make everybody else? Yeah. All right, let's do the uh, stranger, Leviticus. You know what I want? Leviticus 25. Come on. Now, we're going to show you why God made everybody else. Remember, if God made us to be a... No, no, no. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 and then Leviticus. All right? Now, I'm, I'm going to finish showing you why God made the blacks and Hispanics, the Israelites, the children of the slave trade. I'm going to show you why he made us. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people. You blacks and Hispanics, the descendants of the slave trade, God has said that you are a holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God has did what? Have chosen thee. The Lord God of heaven and earth hath chosen us to do what? To be a special people. Uh huh. Unto himself. Let's go. Above all people. A what? Above all people. Oh, wait, God, is, is there equality with God? Uh, I, I Turn the mic up for the reader. What do you say? So y'all heard you heard that brother with the hat? You heard that? Read that again. So thou are in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So now the Bible says, listen up, the Bible says that you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. Come on. So thou are in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Let's go. The Lord thy God had chosen thee. Did the black man know? that the black man, the Hispanic man, was hand selected by God right. from the very beginning of the creation so, of the earth. You were selected and chosen. I got you, keep reading. Yeah. To be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above. Equal to. Above. Below. Above. The black man is what? Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. That's what the Bible is saying. Listen good. Come on. What? He said Christ is the fourth white image on here. So come on, let's talk about it. Come on. Now, now, what's your question? Come on, I got you. Yeah, so didn't Jesus die for the whole world? Now, the question is, didn't Jesus die for the whole world? Let's read that. Where, where did you learn that from? Where does the Bible say that at? Uh... For God so loved the Lord, He gave His only begotten Son. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. So now, hold up, brother, brother. Which one? Which one is Jesus? Which Jesus died? Which Jesus died for everybody, sister? Which Which is Jesus that died for everybody? Look at the sign. Look, tell me. Are you saying there's more than one Jesus? There isn't more than one Jesus. But Christ said, "Don't be fooled." He said, there shall, be, there shall be many that come in my name saying, I am Christ. Go to John 3.16. I give you a precept. Read it. Oh, you gotta get read it. So, chapter 119 and verse 9. Read. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Come on. By taking heed thereto, uh -huh. according to thy word. So the only way we can fix our community, our young men can get right with God, is if they take heed to the laws that is written. So now, the question is, you thought God loved the whole world, and you thought Christ was a white man, right? Correct? Now, my question is, I want you to show me who is Jesus on the side. I mean, I don't think we're supposed to have a graven image of Jesus, so... The, the law says, you shall have no gifts, let's get the law. I'm going to read the second commandment. Is it, is it wrong for us to have images? Can you not have pictures of your family in your house? Is it a sin, is it evil to have a picture? 
No, I, I never so said that. So what is the law that says it's evil when it comes to images? Let's read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Don't make any graven image, come on. Or any likeness of anything. Any likeness of anything, come on. That is in heaven above. All right. Or that is in the earth beneath. Come on. Or that is in the water under the earth. Uh huh. Thou shalt not. Wait, wait, we shall not do what? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to what them. What is the law? What is the stipulation on images? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Uh huh. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. So Th now, hold on. You understand that now? So we can have images, but the issue is. Making an image of an imaginary God and worshiping it as if it's the creator of heaven and earth. Well, that is the problem. And if you my son or my brother, I can take a picture of you and put you on my wall. That's not evil. Right, but I'm not from God. You're not God. Right. All right. So if you're not, it's only one God. That's right. So if I take a picture, if, I, if my son draws a picture of a cartoon character and he put it on his wall, is that evil? No, but isn't What makes it evil? If he worship it and bow down to it and reverence it as a God. Right. That's what makes it evil. Because God said, I created you. I made the heaven and the earth. I'm a jealous God. You can't give my glory to an image you made. You see that? I understand that. Yeah. I don't understand what you're yeah. saying. He's a holy and righteous God. We have to be careful with that. So like, isn't it an image of our interpretation of who Jesus is? We're going to read the Bible. My brother, my brother, we're going to read the Bible. Where in the Bible does it describe the image of Jesus Christ? Where in the Bible does it describe the, the, the image? I don't have read to, it. I don't have Revelation to. chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does it mean to reveal something? Is to show you the description of. Read. Verse 14. Come on. His head and his hair. We're reading about what, my sister, my brother? What are we reading about, brother? The image of who? Christ. So let's see if it match up with these. With what side? Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. So the first description is the hair on his head and on his bed. Read it again. His head and his hair. Were white. So the color of the hair was white. What color do you see on that image? Blonde, brown. That is not according to the Bible. Yeah. So strike wood. Right. Like wool. Like what? Like wool. So wool is a what? A texture. When you rub your hair like you did right there, what texture is that? Like sheep hair. That's wool. Like sheep hair. That's wool. What nation of people have woolly textured hair? Black people! Yes, right. These are the descriptions of black people. But you don't think it could also have been Middle Eastern? Middle Eastern people don't have Afro hair. Yes. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, so Arabs that. are not known for having Afro hair. We got, our people are in the Middle East because of the slave trade, but that don't mean that they are of that race. You understand? Read. His hair! And his hairs were white like wool. Come on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. No, it was blue eyes. As a flame of fire. The description says because he drank wine in moderation, the whites of his eyes were red. Why there's no images with, with the whites of his eyes being red, but he got blue eyes. Why wouldn't it, why, wouldn't it describe him to have blue eyes if he had blue eyes? I believe so, yeah. Like, yeah, it would. I if it describes... I don't think this is uh, accurate. Okay, but the brother did. But guess what? Yeah. If it described the whites of his eyes, it would have described his eyes being blue or green. That's true. All right, keep reading. And his feet! Right now, when you go home and take your shoes off, you see the top of your feet. Yeah. It's the skin color of your whole body, right? Now let's see what the color of his skin was. And his feet! Like unto fine brass. The skin color of Jesus Christ was as fine brass. What color is brass metal? Is that what? Brass metal. It's brown. Brown. So let's see how brown it is. As if. As if. They burn in a furnace. If you burn brown metal, does it get lighter or darker? It gets darker. So what color is Jesus Christ? He's a dark skinned but I, I can't. He's a dark skinned yeah. black man. Right. Right. Hold on. Now look, you said you could be Middle Eastern, right? You could be Arabian, right? 
Let's see the race of Jesus Christ. Hebrews. I'm going to show you. Jesus Christ has a race. He comes from a bloodline of men. Jesus. Matthew 2.13. Come on. Yeah, go there first. Matthew 2.13. Acts 17. So now also, are you familiar with Christ having to run from his father Joseph and Mary having to take baby Christ and run from him being killed? Did you, did you ever read about that? What chapter? What book? Matthew 2. We're going to read it now. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Come on. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a Joseph dream. Joseph is the father, the biological father of Jesus Christ. Right. Right. That is his father. How is that possible? How is it possible? How you got here? So, from what I understand, from when I read the Bible. This is what you said. Yeah. From what you understand. So, I'm saying, when I say from what I understand, I'm reading it directly from the text. Yes, it said that he came of no lineage of, of no man, and, and he came from... Let's go to, let's go to Matthew 1. Yeah, yeah, he came into... You said he world. came from the lineage of no man. No, he came from, so he came from the seed of Abraham. All right, so what is yeah. the seed? The seed of Abraham. No, no, what is seed? The seed is semen. It's what? Right, it's semen. It's what? It was semen, but so do men carry semen or do women carry semen? I mean, like, I don't know if he could actually be born of a man because then he wouldn't be born of incorruptible seed, right? You don't know what incorruptible seed is. But incorruptible seed is holy and set apart, right? Yeah, but you don't understand what that means. Incorruptible seed is not physical. It's not physical. It's a spiritual thing. I don't want to get you confused. I'm not confused. Gee, I'm, you know what I'm telling you that? Let's go. What you go, go. All right, read that. John chapter 1 verse 45. Now guess what? We're reading the records of people that were with Christ when he was alive. Whoa. Let's see what it says. Philip findeth Nathanael okay. and saith unto him. What did they say? We have. What was the common talk of, of the town at that time? We have found him. We found who? Of whom Moses in the law. In the what? In the law. Even in the time of Moses it spoke about Jesus Christ. Read. And the Prophets uh -huh. did write uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth, Who? the son of Joseph. Wait, 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 wait. I thought he was the son of an angel. I thought he was incorruptible seed, bro. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Bro. Why would they not say the J Jesus, the, the immaculate concepted baby from the angel Gabriel? Why wouldn't they say that? Because you don't understand the understanding of what's being said in the Bible. I mean, and when I read, the Bible says, in the word was the beginning, what, what, in the word was God, God talks, and the word made said? flesh, and it dwelt amongst us, right? But did you hear what the Bible just said? I heard what you're saying. So what did the Bible say, Jesus? Who is his father? You're saying, you're picking a very no, specific scripture. I, I'm, I'm going to go all over. Right, so right there, what did it say? Can you, could you answer my question, though? I want you to understand first. Of all, so I, I understand you're, you're so saying you that say. that's the son of... I'm not, I didn't write that. I understand that. What did that. it say? I, under Who? I understand that. Say you mind if I just can I, can I speak? Say yeah. No, I, I'm saying the text says that he's the son of Joseph. Right right because what did the Bible call him? The son of who? The son of oh. Joseph. All right. Right. All right. I, I understand now, that, but you're, you're taking one specific text, but the Bible says in the very beginning, since Genesis, well, he that he'd be born of incorruptible seed. Okay. Right? And so if he is. So he was born so, like an angel. No, that's no. That's so not what I'm saying. So incorruptible what's this, what's going on? So incorruptible seed, the only way you can be born of incorruptible seed is you're born of God. Okay. Right? Well, okay, so, so. So if we, actually, let me make sure I understand. Do you believe in the Trinity? The Trinity. The Holy, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Okay, so what about that? So like, uh, oh, wait, wait, are you trying to say that that's only one entity? Yes. Alright, you gonna kill me. So I'm gonna make sure you understand. I'm not asking you the question. I'm telling you that you were born of God. That is not according to the Bible. That is if he's the son of God, listen to what you're saying. If he's the son of God, he's his own father. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Just listen to us. Deal with us for a minute. Read what you got. He bless you. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 16. Now your thought oh. process is he's from incorruptible seed. He wasn't born like me. Right. He's on another level. But let's see what the men that were with him said. Yeah. For verily he took not on him. So we're talking about Jesus Christ. Yeah. Verily Christ didn't take on him the nature of angels. Because when you read 1 Corinthians 15 it says that there's a, a flesh of angels and a flesh of men. There's celestial bodies and there's terrestrial bodies and they have different glories. Christ didn't take on the celestial body when he came on the earth. Read. But he took on him. He took on him. The seed of 
Abraham. You said that, right? The seed of Abraham. But you know that a seed can't go into a woman unless a man put it there. Keep reading. But Wherefore, it, it, in all things, it behooved him. It be, it be what? It behooved him. He said in all things, it was very important for Jesus yeah. to be made, to be created like unto his brethren. Did Christ have brothers and sisters? And he did. So how were they created? They were created between Joseph and Mary. So what did the Bible just say? So read it again. Yeah. Wherefore in all things uh -huh. it behooved him. It was very important for him yeah. to be made to be created like unto his brother. The same way his brothers and sisters was made yeah. through the father and mother having sex, he came the same way. What yeah. is the nickname of Jesus Christ? The son of man. That's right. The son of man. Okay. Thank, thank so, you for that so now, do you yeah. understand that point? Uh, I can't say that I agree, but I do hear what you're saying. Are we making this up or are we reading um, I, my thoughts are you're taking specific scripture, but like my question to you is this. My question to you is this. The Bible says that let us make man in our image. Yes. Right? That emphasizes that that God. The Bible says let us make man in our image. Yes. Yeah. Right. In our image and our likeness. Right. Yes. So we took the form of so man was made in the image and likeness of God. So we yes. all have a model day, right? Can we, yes. can we agree with that? We all made in the image of right. God. Right. Right. So. Let me ask you this question. Yes. If Jesus himself said he saw Satan fall down from lightning, what does that mean? If, if, what? Say that if again? Jesus himself said he saw Satan fall down from heaven with, in lightning, like lightning, what does that mean to you? What scripture is that we talking about? Yeah, I'll pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah. But now while you get that, I got you with something. Go to John 3.16 for the Trinity. Yeah, you yeah, he's a Bible yeah. believer, right? Yeah. Romans 3 and 1? Nah, he believed the Bible. He's confused a little bit. It's all right. I'll read that. John chapter 3 verse 16. Come on. For God so loved the world. So did you say that God loved everybody? That was you that said that, right? Yeah, that's so now. The officer asked you, he's reading the scriptures. Romans 3 and 1 real quick. Where all we can do, brother, as prophets, is read the scriptures to you, whether you hear or forbear. That's all we can do. All right? Read that with me. Romans chapter 3 verse 3. For so what for so what if some did not believe? What if some people don't believe the Bible? It's gonna reveal how we must believe the Bible. Read. Shall their unbelief make the For so what if some did not believe? Read. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? If you don't believe in the Bible, as the scriptures say, if you don't believe that, shall you you not believing that change the prophecies? Read. God forbid. No. So when it said we have found him whom the prophets wrote up, Christ the son of Joseph, that's what it means. Christ is Joseph's son. Right. Mary just met sex. Right. Whether you right. believe that or not, it's not going to change it. Right. Read. No, I'll, what's I'll, what's I'll, God forbid. Yay. Let God be true. Let who be true? Let God be true. You got to let God be true. How? Read. But every man a liar. Every man a liar. How are we going to differentiate God's truth from man's lie? Read. Right, yeah. As it is written. What? As it is written. How? As it is written. Go back to John 145. We're going to put that to the test, my brother. Right. We're going to read it as it's written, and then let's see if you're going to believe in God's truth or man's lie. Right. John chapter 1 verse 45. Philip findeth the dead and saith unto him, We have found him. We found who? Of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write. Uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So what is it saying? He says, son of Joseph. Now, where in the law did Moses speak about Christ coming to, uh, to, to be born? Did it say a, a, a man is going to come born of an angel? Let's go there. Let's, Cause Moses, he's quoting Moses, right? Let's see what Moses said hey, about Zion, Jesus. This said that we can't keep the law. We can't keep the law. Hey, now look. Now hold on. Now, now I'm going to show you the evil of the Christian church, the doctrine of Christ. Let me show you. Yes, we're Christian. Okay. But the Christianity church causes confusion. And we all believe in the same Bible, there should be no confusion. But I'm going to show you something. Let's listen. If I believe that Christ wasn't born the same way me and you was born, now the other false doctrine come about where I can't keep the law. Only Christ could do it. He fulfilled the law, so I don't have to do it. Because he was the son of God. You understand? Those doctrines go together. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. I will, I will raise them up a prophet. So 
So God told Moses to tell the Israelites, yeah. I'm going to raise you up a prophet in the later days from among their brethren. From among what? Their brethren. From among what? Their brethren. From, no, 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 no. Keep reading. Like unto thee. Like unto who? Like unto thee. How was Moses born? Bring it out. He's going to do natural conception. So why would God tell Moses to tell everybody a lie? He read it again. I will raise them up a prophet. I'm going to raise up Jesus Christ. No, let me from, um, wait, wait, let's come out. from among their brethren, from among oh, their brethren, from their nation, right. like unto thee. The same way you are, I'm going to raise up as, uh, another another prophet, Jesus Christ. Yeah. The same way I raise you up from your father's testicles to your mother's womb and out the mother's womb. Yeah. And that's how Christ was born. Bro, that's the same way. Let me, let me ask you this question. Come on. This is good. I really appreciate this. No, 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 it's You're good. helping me to understand. I know you guys have been doing your, your thing. So, so, so yeah, can that. we agree that when the Bible says to know somebody, that, that means that they're actually knowing them to have sex, right? That, that's what the scripture says, right? Right? So what is the specific scripture that says that Jesus was born through conception? I'm going to show you. You see that? That's a good question. Yeah. This is where, this is the root of that doctrine. This is Matthew 1. Because he doesn't understand the custom of Israelite marriage. So there's words there that if you're not familiar with the law, you're not going to understand what's being said. But we're going to get that. Read what officer said. Come on. Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. Come on. Is not this the carpenter's son? So what do they call Jesus? Why didn't they call Jesus? Isn't this the immaculately born brother that came from the angel to the mother straight? Why didn't they say that? What they called him? Is not this? The carpenter's son? If everybody knew he was born of an angel, why didn't they believe in him? Because he was born like everybody else. Oh. Read. Is not his mother? His who? His mother. Who else? Called Mary. All right. And his brethren. His what? His brethren. All right. James and Joseph. So what does that mean? There is no virgin Mary. The word virgin is not what you think it means. Virgin means a woman of marital age. Right. So, no, 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 nothing so fast, you're not even digesting the information. I'm hearing what you're saying. So I just have a quick question. Right, if Jesus on. died on the cross, right? Yeah. How could he? How could he take? It's not the, this the carpenter's son. I got you. It's not his mother called Mary. Come on. And his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas and his sisters. His what? And his sisters. Come on. Are they not all with us? So that's showing you that the mother and father had a lot of sex. I mean, that's how he was born. Right, that's, so go to where not, he was at. I'm still not saying that he was his brethren. Oh, so, I, so I do have that one scripture that I said about Satan coming out of heaven. Right. Why was it the brothers and sisters born in like he was supposed to? Because he is the son of God. He was called to die and take on the sins of the entire world. He was the son of God. He called to take on the sins of the entire world. Take on the sins of the world. Right. The sins of the world. Right. Now you see what you say. Right. You keep cutting me off. No, no. I was just trying to finish what I'm So like, I wanted to circle back to that scripture specifically. That said, that said Jesus saw Satan come down like lightning. And so it says in Luke 10, 17 through 18, that the, on the 17th return with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons, this is when uh, G Jesus talking to the disciples, he says, the disciples say, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And then he says, I saw Satan fall. Brother, brother, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It does. Because, no, it don't. Listen, but I'm going to tell you, you why. I'm sorry, you keep no cutting it off, what though, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to style, That has nothing to do with Christ being God, the Father, and the Holy Ghost or Christ being um immaculately just said that's three different things we're talking about. Now we're to Matthew. I'm gonna cut this up now. Brother, you, you're being deceitful, brother. You know what you're doing? Hold up that sound right there. Move, move over. You are what you got the you got the mark of the beast right now. What is that? The mark of the beast meaning you believe in the doctrine of the devil. You are not you are not receiving how do you know that you don't want me? Listen, I'm speaking, see spiritual things. Right. You can, what did Christ say to the Pharisees? He said you don't understand his, spirit, his right? words. Right. We're giving it to you. But there's hope for you. You can repent. Right. You're in sin that's blocking your understanding Wait, right now. I'm, I'm really trying to understand. I'm right. trying if to I'm, in, to if I'm in sin, you yes. keep cutting me off. I'm trying to understand. Yes. Right. Go to Matthew 1. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Go to Matthew 1 and 1. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Now read. 
the book of the generation of what of the generation this is the book of the genealogy of jesus christ where do you get your genes from i never denied christ no listen don't say nothing no just listen where does, a, where does a baby get the genealogy from? He gets it from the father. Exactly. Oh, right. Now let's keep reading. Yeah, I study science. So All right. No, so wait, he study science. So you know this already. Right. The Bible is agreeing with what you learn. Right. Read. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Come on. The son of David. The son of who? Of David. Okay. The son of Abraham. Uh-huh. Abraham begat Isaac. So hold on. Abraham begat Isaac. Read. And Isaac begat Jacob. Read. And Jacob begat Judas. Do you see the pattern or should I keep going? We're reading about the fathers that led up to the birth of Jesus Christ. Right. If it was a Holy Ghost transaction, what is the need of the trend of the of the of the Genius. process of seed transferring? If he came from the seed of Abraham, women don't carry seed. They carry eggs. Right. You study science. Right. How did the seed of Abraham get into the womb of Mary? Because this is showing you right now. Jump down to where Joseph is at. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. Verse 16. Come on. And Jacob begat Joseph. Jacob is the father of Joseph. The seed from Abraham came all the way down. Now we had Joseph. Come on. The husband of Mary. The husband That's of Mary. Right. Of whom? was born Jesus, there we who go. is called Christ. That's right there. All but great. you know what it is? When we go to church for so long. All right, where's the sound? This is the problem. White supremacy. Because in slavery, look at that sign right there, right? You went to college, right? I did. Now look at this. Are you familiar when this happened to us? Yeah. Hold it right in front of you. Just hold it right in front of you. Could. Now, when we were in this situation, were we allowed to read? No. No. So who do we learn these doctrines from? Look at these men. Yeah. These are, they had slaves. They owned slaves. Right. And these are the fathers of Christianity. Yeah. Right. And they took scripture out of context to try to they escape They took man. scripture yeah. out of context. Right. That's why our mothers and brothers and fathers believe, oh, Jesus cares immaculately conceptive. Right. But where is that in the Bible? Oh, oh, oh. God and Christ and the Holy Spirit is all one. Yeah. But how? Christ was praying to his father on the cross. When Christ transfigured, the, 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 the voice of the Lord came and said, This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. What right. the hell kind of, this ain't no, no magician trick. That's real. God, go to, go to um, 1 Corinthians 11. I got you. Let's get the order. Hey, look, fellas. I already do gotta go. No, it's okay, I already do the I you know that there ain't no immaculate conception because you can't prove it in the Bible. You are trying to yeah. read to me about some lightning that so, has nothing to do with nothing. You, yeah. Yeah. And then there is no yeah. Holy Trinity because we're gonna read it right now. Read that. First Corinthians chapter eleven verse three. Come on. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So we're giving. He's giving the order to the Church of Corinthians. Right. But listen to the key details. And the head of the woman. It's the man. So the head of every man, our leader, the one who we follow is Jesus Christ. The one who the woman follow is that man. Keep reading. And the head of Christ. The head of who? Of Christ. Is who? Is God. How the hell are they the same people? Is, is you and your wife the same person? No. All right. Are you and Christ the same person? No. Is Christ and God the same person? Yes. Brother, you want your brother. You see that right there? That's your God right there. Seven. I didn't learn your God. I, I, I got the same. I got the same. I got the same. Matthew 17, 25. Brother, brother, you see what the problem is. Yeah. I, you sorry, you I got understand it. everything up to what I the white people told you. Let me ask you a you, question. You Who put you on slave ships? Who put your ancestors on slave ships? Right. Uh, who did it? What race of people? Was white people. Right. Now, who taught you about Jesus when you was a slave? Jesus, So I didn't learn about Brother, the from white people. The understanding you had was taught in slavery. You can't find that understanding in the Bible. Right. That's why Christ said, don't be fooled. Wait, what's the word that he said? Beware lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy and vain deceit. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. Come on. Now he yet spake, behold. A bright cloud overshadowed him. Christ was speaking. Yeah. While Jesus was speaking. And, and behold, a bright cloud overshadowed him. A bright cloud came over him. Yeah. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son. That is what? My beloved son.
He loves son. No, no, no. That's me down there. That's me. I'm actually up here and down there at the same time. This is my beloved son. That's right. And who? I am well pleased. So you see how crazy you sound right now, brother? Brother, you went to college. You don't get it? What's wrong with you, brother? Read it again. Why he ain't This makes no sense. It's not funny. You don't understand that two people can't be the same. Read it again. Read it slow. Why he yet spake? Behold, you see the problem? When we learn from our slave master, we can't understand the understanding of God. Read what you got. While he yet spake, behold, Hold on. a bright cloud overshadowed them. Come on. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son. When you see a man with his son, you're not alone. Oh, they're the same person. You don't do that. But why with the Bible? You know why? Because we were taught by our slave masters. Right. These are the reasons why we are confused in the earth. You don't even know your nationality. They don't teach you your nationality in school. Right. They call you a black man. Right. They call you African and American and merge it together. Right. That is not a real nationality. Right. And all the information is here. But you have to start keeping God's word. Men leading by example.